Like I said, bro, PlayStation is saving gaming. Literally, they're saving it, bro. If Xbox was the only main console in gaming and making all the sales, gaming would be dead right now. At least PlayStation's trying to innovate and change and try to go a future risk. They're really pushing the standard, expect not in just with their not just with their design, their controller, but the the games, the uh, the SSD, the PlayStation Five demo actually felt like next gen. Are you idiots listening to me? It actually feels like next gen. But PlayStation is saving gaming right now. Put some respect on PlayStation. What's up, guys? I hope you all are having a great day today. We are going to be taking a look at a truly fantastic YouTube video here talking about the Xbox Series X versus the PlayStation 5 and how the PlayStation 5 is single-handedly saving the entire gaming industry. That's right, guys. The gaming industry is in danger, and it needs its very own white knight to come to the rescue. But luckily enough for us, Sony is that white knight. And with the release of the PlayStation 5, they are going to single-handedly save the entire video game industry, which apparently... Apparently, it needed saving, dude. I don't know. Like, it's more profitable than ever. Apparently, the gaming industry is in danger. I have no clue. But according to this YouTube video we're going to be taking a look at here today, that is 100% the case. Now, the title of this video is Why PlayStation 5 is Better Than Xbox Series X. PS5 is Saving Gaming. And you will soon see how passionate this man is about PlayStation 5 and how willing he is to defend its honor, dude. Because you need to respect the PlayStation 5 or else you're just a piece of shit. But this is the type of videos we can expect from now on until the release of the new consoles, and probably well after that too. The console wars are eternal, and this shit is not going to stop anytime soon. And it's basically a daily occurrence that a video like this gets uploaded, where someone on the internet tries to defend their favorite piece of plastic. But anyway, guys, I don't really think this video needs much introduction. So I think without further ado, let's go ahead and find out how the PlayStation 5 is single-handedly going to save the entire gaming industry. Bro, let's talk about it. Why is the PlayStation 5 better than the Xbox Series X? That's what you came to this video for, bro. Let's just get straight into it. Xbox Series X is complete dog shit. Uh, horrible console design, horrible everything. The marketing was completely bad. It's like they don't know what they're doing or they're just half-assing everything. Those are a couple pointers right here, and I'm literally going to explain everything. Literally. I'm just really looking forward to that explanation, dude. This seems like a very well-educated YouTube video in discussing the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, but I am gonna say this real quick. I will link the full video in the description if you wanna go watch it, but I cut out like 12 minutes of this shit because this entire video, this dude literally just repeats himself over and over and fucking over again. So to cut down on the repetitive nature of this absolute masterpiece, I had to cut quite a bit of this shit out, but if you wanna go watch the full thing the link will be in the description now let's get back to the video the design is horrible now i know that this isn't the playstation 5 design but uh, they're going for a futuristic look so i expect the design to be really clean probably not this clean but still xbox series x bro this is trash it's literally they made it they have no identity here like no sense of identity nothing nothing is original anymore it's literally just a pc knockoff at this point it i mean it's almost like this guy doesn't fucking realize that consoles are just pcs with a different operating system like jesus christ bro but personally i like the design of the xbox it's very minimal it doesn't stand out it's sleek looking and it's designed to get better cooling so it's quiet. I don't know, to me, I would much rather the console look kind of bland, but not like stand out. Like I don't want some big white thing sitting on like my TV stand or something, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of white consoles. If the PS5 is white, that's definitely gonna be a negative in my book, but at least we've seen the Xbox. Like the PlayStation 5 could look like a toilet seat, like the dev kit does. And I mean, it's kind of a little bit early to be talking shit, bro, because we haven't even seen the PS5, but at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter what the fuck these consoles look like, as long as they work well. That's the only thing that really fucking matter so i don't even know why this is a point it's horrible yes i know consoles catching up with pc but still this is not on par this the thing about xbox this is complete trash the games are trash the gameplay the gameplay uh reveal that came out like a week ago what was that if any of you guys think that was good, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I completely agree. That gameplay reveal was a complete waste of fucking time. You know, Microsoft definitely do better. But either way, neither company has shown gameplay. Like, Microsoft and Sony are both holding off on showing actual gameplay of these consoles, which is a little bit fucking worrying, in my opinion, because, you know what, we're five or six months out from release. We haven't seen a single second of gameplay. That's a little bit concerning. But yeah, I do agree. That Microsoft event, complete fucking shit. But Sony's just as bad. They haven't shown any gameplay either if xbox was the only main
main console in gaming and making all the sales, gaming would be fucking dead right now. At least PlayStation's trying to innovate and change and try to go a future risk. They're really pushing the standard, not in just with their not just with their design, their controller, but the the games, the uh, the SSD. This was a well planned out marketing strategy. And Oh my god, guys, he's so right. Sony is revolutionizing gaming, dude. You know, they're introducing SSDs, you know, welcome to 2009. They're introducing a controller that looks like some shitty third-party Xbox controller. You get a GameStop for 25 fucking dollars. And on top of that, dude, they're making video games. <laughs> like, who would have fucking guessed that a gaming company might develop a video game? But, you know, the funny thing is here is Sony hasn't bothered to share a single next-generation game that they're putting out for the PlayStation 5, a console that releases in a little over five Five months. So how exactly are they fucking different from Microsoft? Like, what are they doing to change the entire gaming industry? Because I haven't seen shit. In all honesty, Microsoft's approach to backwards compatibility is way more exciting than a fucking SSD. Like, oh my god, dude, the load times are gonna be 0 .04 seconds faster than the Xbox Series X's SSD. Oh my god, dude. I don't really see anything revolutionary there, but maybe I'm wrong. Xbox, what are you doing? You look like you're at recess right now, playing at recess while, while uh, PlayStation's in Harvard. Like, what the fuck? For real, dog. This is trash. Bro, if you niggas think this is a good console, and if you're gonna waste your money on this, you should give me your address right now so I can punch the fuck out of you. This is completely dog shit. Anyone that wastes their money on this has to be an idiot. You have to be, or a really a diehard fanboy, but also you're you're still an idiot. So not only are you guys an idiot, but apparently this man wants to beat the literal shit out of you if you want to buy an Xbox Series X. Like this is the type of shit that these console fanboys are on 24/7, dude. Like this is what we had to deal with all last fucking generation as well, especially leading up to and almost immediately after the release of the console. I mean, just for example, this is the type of shit we had last generation. What's going on, fellas? This dealer here back again with another video. Now, today I've had an epiphany. I finally figured out why these Sony fanboys are clinging to resolution. For all you fucking faggot ass P counters, it had higher resolutions. And you, I didn't hear you saying anything about that then. It was all about, oh, well, well we got more exclusives, or, um, you know, Sony lets us lick their nipples occasionally. It was some stupid shit that never made sense. But now that you don't have any games, it's all about resolution. You're all hypocrites and retards at that. Your mama smoked crack when you were inside. I don't know what else to tell you. There's some reason that you are inherently stupid and you need to figure that out. Some things never fucking change, dude. Like I said, I'm not a fanboy of either console, but I respect the fuck out of what PlayStation's doing. Real talk. And I'm, I, I would say that I'm a fan of their work, but I'm... Like I said, I don't consider myself a fanboy of PlayStation or fanboy of anything. Like I said, I'm just a fan of what they're doing, of their work. I mean, that's really convincing me. I think you've convinced everybody watching this video, too. You're definitely not a fanboy, man. Because a fanboy would never attack a console before the thing even released and say it's complete fucking trash just because, you know, it's not the PlayStation 5. I mean, a fanboy would never do something like that. But the thing is, guys, Xbox Series X is complete trash. The games that you can get on Xbox 360 X on Xbox 360 X. You can play this on Xbox One. They're gonna look exactly the same, maybe a little bit higher resolution, but it, exactly the same. 30, uh, you know, you're you're gonna be lucky enough to get 30 frames per second. This is trash. I mean, this is a real question for you, dude. Do you actually think the PS5 is gonna be any different? Because on paper, the Xbox Series X is more powerful than the PS5. So if anything, if you're not happy with the way the Xbox is gonna be running games, then you're really not gonna like how the PlayStation 5 is gonna be running them. But then again, what do I even know? We are dealing with an expert here who knows everything about this topic and can definitively say before the console even releases that the Xbox Series X is gonna be complete fucking trash. And if you think you're if if you think that i'm hating on xbox right now you're an idiot too because like i said guys the xbox 360 i like the xbox 360 more than playstation 3 like i said but xbox series x bro this is trash i mean why 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 even the hardware is uh mediocre at best 
I mean, like I said before, the Xbox is more powerful than the PlayStation 5 on paper. The GPU is more powerful, so if you're not happy with the hardware of the Xbox, you're really not going to be happy with the hardware of the PlayStation 5, because contrary to popular belief, an SSD does not increase frame rate. It doesn't improve your resolution. That is complete fucking bullshit. I mean, come on! PlayStation 5's SSD? Let's let's talk about some of uh, PlayStation 5's uh, benefits, bro. Let's all have this conversation, bro. Leave a comment below. I don't give a fuck what you guys I say, uh, bro, this is, uh, you know I'm speaking facts, PlayStation 5 SSD, developers are saying that it's better than what whatever you can get on PC right now, it's better than anything that you can get on PC. I mean, I find this very funny because Sony has literally come out and said that you can go out and buy replacement NVMe drives to put into the PlayStation 5 because the PlayStation 5 is only going to have about 700 gigabytes available for you to put games on, which means you'll probably get three or four next generation games on there. I mean, just look at Modern Warfare. That shit's like 250 gigabytes and it's not even on a next generation console. So you're going to fill up that hard drive real quick. Sony said you could go out and replace that shit. So tell me again how NVMe drives are proprietary technology because last time I checked if I can go buy that shit off a store shelf to replace the drive in my PlayStation 5 why the fuck can't I just put it in my PC and people the thing about people especially PC gamers which are mostly Xbox fanboys dumbass idiots or just Xbox fanboys acting like they own a PC they try to say that oh consoles will never be uh, up to par with PC oh PC's on a whole nother level ding, ding, ding. man you sound like a fucking bitch shut up nigga shut up nigga no, for real, for real. Like, bro, that shit, like, bro, that shit irks me, dog. Because, like, you guys are so fucking stupid. Give PlayStation the respect that it deserves. No one is giving PlayStation some fucking respect. I mean, it's people like this who make it very hard for PC gamers to just admit, like, yeah, the next generation consoles seem very impressive on paper. How they actually perform in real world settings with actual games, we haven't seen yet, but so far they look very impressive. I don't really think anyone being honest is going to deny that shit. But at the same time, to say that a fucking PC isn't going to be able to compete with this shit, like, what the fuck, dude? When I get my 3080 Ti later in the year, I guarantee you that shit is going to curb stomp the absolute fuck out of the PlayStation 5. And that's a fucking problem promise playstation like i said is doing it's hitting all the marks bro the gameplay they're actually showing us real gameplay wait playstation has shown gameplay that's fucking news to me the playstation 5 demo actually felt like next gen are you idiots listening to me it actually feels like next gen Bro, IGN was talking about how, oh, lower your expectations because a fucking dumbass Xbox doesn't know how to fucking market shit, and they don't know how to do anything right, because, but PlayStation is saving gaming right now, put some respect on PlayStation. Damn, I actually feel pity on this man, guys. You know, he actually thinks that IGN is a reputable source. <laughs> I mean, just press F in the chat for this man, dude. I feel bad for him, like he has been led astray. But on top of that, what the fuck does marketing have to do with anything when it comes to hardware performance? Like, do you think a fucking trailer for a console is gonna affect how many frames per second it gets in a video game? What resolution it can run video games at? Like, the scale of video games that run on it? Like, what the fuck even is this shit, dude? This is embarrassing. You should be embarrassed for yourself. Now, I know there's going to be single mothers and stuff that is going to buy this for their sons if it's the cheaper console, which I don't think it is. Uh, people that say that Xbox is going to be cheap or even the PlayStation is going to be cheap are fucking idiots. I think that this is going to be no lower than like $600. 100% dude, they're definitely going to make the console the same price as the PS3 because that worked so fucking well for Sony in the past. I mean, this just shows you what an absolute genius this guy is. But I have a feeling both Microsoft and Sony are going to take a fat fucking L on the price of this console, probably lose money on every unit sold, and then just make it up in game sales and subscription fees and everything like that. So that's my opinion. I think these consoles are going to be no more than 500 bucks. I think Microsoft is probably going to head towards like 450 maybe even 400 because i know they want to have the price advantage but we'll see but there's no fucking way these things are going to be 600 dollars and that's pretty low in my opinion i feel like it like even if the playstation 5 is 100 dollars more than xbox series x i'm still buying it even if it's 200 dollars more because the point is uh, uh, because playstation has all the games they have everything literally they have everything that you need they're really bringing next gen literally Everything. They're, 
uh, and I was never gonna buy an Xbox Series X ever. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, never. Even if I had ten dollars. I mean, trust me, dude. There was never really any confusion. I think you made yourself very clear from the very beginning of this video that you had no interest in the Xbox Series X. But it really just shows you what an absolute fanboy this guy is because he's saying he would spend seven hundred or eight hundred fucking dollars on a PlayStation Five. Like that shit is absolutely pathetic. PlayStation, bro, I'm telling you, if this was $1,000, their console, I would pay $1,000 for that. A lot of you niggas are broke, man. I would pay $1,000 for that. Well, I think this is a good place to wrap shit up, dude. I don't think it gets any more ignorant than that. You know, he is so much of not a fanboy that he is going to spend $1,000 on a fucking PlayStation 5. But, you know, for the rest of the YouTube video, he literally just repeats himself over and fucking over again. Like, the fact that this video is 18 minutes long is a fucking insult. Like, I understand stretching a YouTube video out past 10 minutes, but this shit is fucking excessive. But anyway, guys, I guess the moral of the story is here. Just don't buy an Xbox Series X. It's complete fucking trash. Just consider consume the PlayStation 5, bow down to our lord and savior of the gaming industry, Sony, and yeah, I think that's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it, I would greatly appreciate it, and with that said, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video, and for all the recent support as well, and I will catch you guys next time.